So that is something, that's another key that you should have in your arsenal when you're starting to, when you wanna start your Turo business. As you can see, I'm in my office right now at work. I really wanna be out there with you guys. So I need you to subscribe to this channel. And if you like these videos, definitely give me a like, comment, let me know what you wanna hear next. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Enjoy, peace. Or the air freshener in there still has life in it. Boom, you're ready for the next rental just like that. Let the, within five, to, within, I say it will take you between five and 15 minutes most times tops to get your vehicle ready for a rental, it should, it should, no longer than that, five to 15 minutes tops to get your vehicle ready for the next rental. So that is something, that's another key that you should have in your arsenal when you're starting to, when you wanna start your tour. The first key that I said you should do, number one, is have a plan. Know what your entrance strategy is, what is it gonna be, are you using a car that you already have? Do you have enough money saved to go buy a car? Are you gonna finance cars? Things like that, run your numbers. Know what your plan is and have an exit strategy, have a plan of how you want to run your business. Is this just something going to be semi-passive on the side that you do or are you going to turn into something full-fledged? But be prepared to make sure that you're monitoring and keeping track of how you're spending your money and how the tour and what you want to do with it. You know, have a goal, have a plan, don't just do it willy-nilly. <clears throat> like they always say, fail to plan, you plan to fail. Number two, Doing the little things and the small things every time you get your rental so that you can have a good uh, review ratio. Now, there's, there's going to be people that you're just, it's just going to be hard to please. But if you constantly make sure your car is clean on the inside, I bought a vacuum. You know, one of those little uh, Hoover vacuums, that you, those handheld vacuums. So every time my rentals come back, the first thing I do, I check out the car, I vacuum the inside, I wipe it down, I make sure the gas tank is full. If I do have to take the car to the car wash to wash it, sometimes the renters do take it and wash it, sometimes they don't. It varies. I run to the car wash five minutes from my house, boom, 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 in and out. And within 15, 20 minutes, depending if I have to drive to the car wash or not, I'm done and I'm ready to go. Ready for the next rental. And it's always good to have those things done because it allows for the renter to always have a good outlook on who you are. You always wanna separate yourself from the competition. That's key here in Turo, man. That's key. Now, the last thing that I would say that you must do in 2022, if you wanna have Turo, this is, to me, it's been a crucial part of my business. And it's something that just rolled out about 30 days. But I can already see how it allows for the platform, like. Turo is really trying to make this as passive as they possibly can with at least a little bit of work that you have to do on your end. You know, you're gonna communicate, have to communicate with guests in between. But one thing that they just started recently was automating messages. Now, they haven't rolled it out into the app yet. So on your phone, you can't really automate any messages. But the thing that I do is I automate my welcome and my exit messages. I have all the instructions there for how they're gonna check into the car because I do a lot of As long as you believe you can't make it, you won't make it. Because if you believe that you can do it, you will do it.